ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday afternoon, the 20th of February. Clouds are increasing. Good soaking coming up here the next couple of days and maybe strong to severe storms before the week is over. Let's go to some sky cam shots this afternoon. We'll begin with a look at the sky over Tuscaloosa. That's coming from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse looking east. The sky mostly cloudy doesn't exactly bode well for viewing of the lunar eclipse tonight. Uh, from Jasper, pretty much the same story. That's the view from the top of the King Building. Uh, the sky mostly cloudy. Those clouds up at about 15,000 feet. And a very similar sky over Birmingham. A little blue sky up there, but not much. And we'll see those clouds continuing to increase tonight. And some rain could reach the state after midnight. Here's our big picture this afternoon. Trough over the uh, northeast, the Midwest. Very, very cold up there. But note the energy coming down through Southern California. You can see the swirl around Las Vegas. Uh, that little comma-shaped uh, feature there, that's the one that will bring a, a pretty good round of storms Friday. In advance of that, some overrunning rain tomorrow. Here's a look at temperatures. 11 below zero at 1 o'clock this afternoon over North Dakota. Wow, we had some uh, temperatures colder than minus 30 this morning up there. Yeah, Chicago sitting at 12. Looks like Des Moines is sitting at 2 above zero. In that cold front, the leading edge of the colder air will kind of push down in here and stall out uh, over central Alabama tomorrow, helping to set the stage for the overrunning tomorrow. And look at that. Hey, we'll take that. That's uh, the expected rain valid through Monday morning of next week. This is suggesting two to three inches for a pretty good chunk of north Alabama. We'll tone that down. We'll say one to two with isolated amounts of over two. But, hey, if we get it, that's a good thing. And, of course, almost all of that will come tomorrow and Friday. Severe weather potential. Let's take a look. This is the convective outlook tomorrow for Thursday. A slight risk over southeastern Texas, all of Louisiana, and most of south and central Mississippi. And that includes the southwestern part of Alabama. And then on day three, Friday, we've got a, a slight risk over the southern part of Alabama, south of Montgomery. And uh, we wonder if they might have to pull that north based on some of the uh, runs we've seen, uh, or based on the uh, model output we've seen here. In fact, let's take a look at the GFS. This is at uh, noon tomorrow, noon on Thursday. There's your shortwave over at New Mexico. Down below that, a surface front will be stalling out somewhere over central Alabama, and moist air goes up and over the top of the cooler air, and that's overrunning. Highs in the 50s, periods of rain. Friday, the uh, trough uh, rotates through here, and at the surface, the front will be lifting northward, and we should be in the mid to upper 60s Friday. We don't have a deepening surface low, and there's no doubt this is not the same kind of deal we had last Sunday, but the latest uh, instability values don't have the graphic to show you, but uh, on the NAM, the instability, the surface base cape is uh, approaching 1,000 now up into central Alabama, so the air looks pretty unstable, and that certainly could set the stage for some strong storms. The main issue more than likely would be from strong straight-line winds, and then Saturday, the rain is gone. We'll forecast a clearing sky. And really, the air not much cooler. Highs should be around 60. And Sunday, mid-60s, maybe upper 60s in spots. And again, the weather looks dry. Next week, here comes our next trough on Monday. Back off to the west will be dry Monday. And then Tuesday, the trough begins to phase. And at the surface, a deepening surface low at midday Tuesday is running up through Ohio with a trailing band of showers and storms. And uh, this is a look that could bring strong to severe storms here. And really, looks like the main window, if this timing is right, would be from about 2 o'clock Tuesday morning until noon on Tuesday. And that's at a time where the air can be most stable. But with those kind of dynamics, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we'll have to mention a chance of strong to severe storms. And whoa, look at the cold air plunge on Wednesday. That is cold. Are you kidding me? If this is right, we'll be below freezing all day Wednesday of next week. The 540 thickness line down there in the Gulf. In fact, we'll be in the 20s all day if this is right with a few lingering snow showers down into the Tennessee Valley. That's going to be quite a shock to the system. Let's go into March, uh, go into voodoo country. Uh, this is valid the uh, 4th of March. Got a shortwave trough coming through the Gulf Coast states. That looks uh, wet. Cold air locked up to the north. And on the 7th, the end of the forecast period, 
Again, a shortwave energy rotating through here, and that looks like another good round of rain and storms. Active and changeable. The two key words, at least for the next three weeks and probably well beyond that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com if you're watching this on iTunes or YouTube. And the next video will be posted here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. 